Welcome back fitness fanatics, remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Today, we're diving into the fundamental world of push-ups. They're not just a classic, they're a cornerstone, a staple in the fitness universe. These bad boys are all about targeting the upper body and the core, providing a well-rounded workout with minimal equipment needed. Push-ups are a powerhouse exercise, they target your chest, shoulders, triceps, and core muscles. They're like a one-stop shop for upper body strength. Now the key to a good push-up is all in the form. It starts with your hands, planted firmly on the ground, a little wider than shoulder width apart. Your body should form a straight line from your head to your heels. And here's a pro tip. Engage your core. Tighten those abs like you're about to take a punch. This will help keep your body straight and maximize the effectiveness of the exercise. But be careful not to let your hips sag or your back arch. These are common mistakes that can lead to injuries and diminish the effectiveness of the exercise. Another common mistake is flaring out the elbows. Try to keep them tucked close to the body. This will not only protect your shoulders, but also engage the right muscles. So there you have it. Push-ups, folks. They're simple, versatile, and incredibly effective. They're the bread and butter of bodyweight exercises, and they're not going anywhere anytime soon. So embrace the push-up, perfect your form, and watch as they transform your fitness game. Push-ups are a classic move that target the upper body and core, providing a well-rounded workout. Moving on to squats, a fantastic exercise for strengthening your legs and core. Squats are like the Swiss army knife of exercises. They're versatile, practical, and can be tailored to fit any fitness level. They're a compound movement, meaning they work multiple muscle groups at once, specifically your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes. But the benefits of squats don't stop at muscle building. They also improve your balance, coordination, and flexibility. So, how do you perform the perfect squat? Stand tall with your feet hip width apart. Engage your core and start bending your knees as if you're about to sit on a chair. Keep your back straight and push your hips back. Go down as low as you can, ideally until your thighs are parallel to the floor. Then push back up to the starting position. Remember, it's the quality of the movement, not the quantity, that counts. Now, let's talk about some common mistakes. Many tend to lean forward while squatting, putting unnecessary strain on their lower back. To avoid this, always keep your chest up and look straight ahead. Another common mistake is not going low enough. Half squat won't give you the full benefits of the exercise, so make sure you're getting that depth in each rep. Squats not only strengthen your legs, but also help in improving your balance and flexibility. Embrace the burn, relish the challenge, and remember, every squat is a step closer to your fitness goals. Next up, we have crunches, an excellent exercise for those abs. Crunches are a staple in any fitness regimen, primarily targeting your rectus abdominis, the muscle that forms the much desired six pack. They also engage the obliques, giving your waistline a well-rounded workout. So how do we do crunches correctly? Start by laying flat on your back, knees bent, feet flat on the ground, cross your hands over your chest, lift your upper body using your abdominal muscles, not your neck. Exhale as you rise, inhale as you lower back down. It's a simple movement, but form is crucial. A common mistake is pulling the neck forward, which can cause strain. Remember, your abs should be doing the work, not your neck. Also, jerky movements are a no-no. Aim for controlled, smooth lifts and lowers. One last tip, keep your gaze fixed on the ceiling throughout the exercise to help maintain proper alignment. Crunches are a great way to target your abdominal muscles and improve your core strength. Let's now focus on leg raises, another fantastic exercise for your abs. Leg raises are a powerhouse of a move that target your lower abdominal muscles, which are often overlooked in traditional ab workouts. They also provide a great way to improve your core stability and overall balance. Now let's talk about form. Start by lying flat on your back, hands by your sides. Slowly lift your legs, keeping them straight until they're perpendicular to the floor. Hold for a moment, then lower them back down without letting them touch the ground. Repeat this motion, ensuring your core is engaged throughout the entire exercise. But beware, a common mistake is to arch your back, which can lead to discomfort or even injury. To avoid this, keep your lower back pressed into the floor during the exercise. Remember, quality over quantity. It's better to do fewer reps with good form than many with poor form. Leg raises are excellent for targeting your lower abs and improving your core stability. Now, we're moving on to pike push-ups, a challenging yet rewarding exercise. 
Think of the Pike Push-Up as a fantastic two-for-one deal. Not only does it offer a fantastic core workout, but it also helps to build strength and definition in the shoulders. Essentially, it's a full upper body workout packed into one efficient movement. So, how do you perform a pike push-up? Well, first, start in a downward dog position, with your hips high and your body forming an inverted V. Your hands should be slightly wider than shoulder width apart and your feet hip width apart. Keep your gaze towards your toes to maintain alignment. Next, you'll want to bend your elbows and lower your head towards the ground. It's crucial to remember that this movement should come from your shoulders, not your waist. You're aiming to get your head as close to the ground as possible, while maintaining that pike position. Once you've reached your lowest point, push back up, and voila, you've just done a pike push-up. But hold on, here's a common mistake to avoid, bending at the waist. Remember, the bend comes from your shoulders. Also, ensure you're not flaring your elbows out to the side. Keep them close to your body for the most effective workout. Finally, remember to engage your core. This will help you maintain balance and really maximize the benefits of this exercise. Pike push-ups are great for targeting your shoulders and upper body strength. So give it a try and feel the burn. Pull-ups or chin-ups, whichever you prefer, are next. These are great for your upper body strength. Let's dive right in. Pull-ups and chin-ups are the unsung heroes of upper body workouts. They target multiple muscle groups simultaneously from your back to your arms, shoulders, and even your abs, making them an incredibly efficient exercise. And the best part? They require minimal equipment, making them perfect for a home workout. Now, let's talk technique. For a pull-up, you'll want to grip the bar with your palms facing away from you. For a chin-up, your palms will be facing towards you. Whichever exercise you're doing, your hands should be shoulder-width apart. Start by hanging from the bar, then pull yourself up until your chin is above the bar. Lower yourself back down in a controlled manner and voila, you've done a pull-up or chin-up. But here's the catch. It's not just about getting your chin above the bar. Form is key. Ensure your back is straight and avoid swinging or using momentum to get yourself up. These common mistakes can lead to injury and diminish the effectiveness of the exercise. Remember, it's not about how many you can do, but how well you do them. Quality over quantity, always. Pull-ups and chin-ups are excellent for improving your upper body strength and endurance. So go on, give them a try, and watch as your upper body strength skyrockets. Finally, we have lunges, a perfect exercise to target your lower body. Lunges are an essential component of any fitness regimen, whether you're a seasoned gym goer or just starting out. They're fantastic for working your quadriceps, hamstrings, and glutes, giving you that much desired lower body strength and definition. Now, let's talk technique. Start by standing tall, feet hip width apart. Take a step forward with one foot, lowering your body until your front knee is at a 90 degree angle and your back knee hovers just above the ground. Push back up to standing and repeat with the other leg. It's that simple. But beware of common mistakes. Leaning too far forward or letting your knee extend past your toes can lead to injury. Keep your torso upright, your core engaged, and ensure your knee doesn't go beyond your foot. Lunges are great for improving your balance, flexibility, and lower body strength. Keep up the good work, and you'll see results in no time.